So Robert, we've talked about uh, many dimensions of multi-party negotiations and how to be effective. I think one of the central skills as a multi-party negotiator is to be able to exercise influence in a productive, uh, helpful way, both to oneself and to others at the table. And I would argue that exercising persuasion and influence in the multi-party negotiating setting involves being a good storyteller, involves being a good negotiator, obviously, but especially being able to enlist the support of others to get what we want in uh, negotiation. My argument is that to do so, it's important to be able to distinguish between narrow casting of one's message to the target audience and being able to broadcast one's message when necessary to perhaps a larger audience. So let me say a little bit about each of these types of messaging. When we talk about narrow casting, we're talking about a tailor-made message sent to a particular member of a negotiating team in a multi-stakeholder environment at the table. This may be a person who has been resistant to a particular set of proposals, but who plays a key role in the negotiation and we need to enlist and get this person's support. So the targeted narrow casted message focuses less on the needs of the entire group and much more specifically on the particular underlying interests, both material and psychological, of the individual in question. There are times, however, when it's important to target a message to the entire group of stakeholders with a view to getting parties at the table to question each other to be able to get them to raise doubts about where they've been to this particular point in time and to seed the possibility of a counter narrative for the whole group to consider. And so being able to effectively know when to narrow cast or when to broadcast your message is an essential skill for a multi-party negotiator. So what do you think makes a message particularly persuasive? I think a message needs to have uh, two critical components. Uh, the first is that it has to have a legitimate significance and indeed deep substance to it. It has to be analytically persuasive. But equally important, it must be emotionally persuasive. It must meet some underlying psychological need of the individual at the table. And what skills should I focus on to become a more persuasive negotiator? Well, as I said initially, exercising persuasion involves telling a good story or narrative. Great negotiators, besides being analytically savvy, are equally and this is incredibly important to emphasize, great storytellers, they can bring context, they can put flesh on the bones, they can bring out the emotional consequences of reaching or not reaching a deal. Secondly, bringing to bear your negotiation skills, how to help people create value and see options where they weren't available before. And finally, using your coalitional skill to be able to enlist the support of others using both narrow casting and broadcasting strategies.